Just my last shift, one of the girls that I went to school with here, her daughter seen me working in the emergency room and she was literally shocked that I was there because she didn't know that someone could be an emergency room physician that was First Nation and she was like, okay, well, if I can do that, then, you know, I can be a vet, which was what she was thinking of being. So I think that has a big impact on people. Sad Lake First Nation. I am originally from the community here. My position here is I'm a family physician and I also work in St. Paul so there I do emergency room coverage, I do hospitalist work uh, and I don't do deliveries, that's the only thing I don't do. But I also do um, um, home visits. I go to, there's um, two ladies in the community that I go see on like a weekly, bi-weekly or monthly basis because I like to keep people at home. Right. Instead, a lot of them want to be at home. Like one is one of our elderly, one of the oldest ladies on the reserve. Um, so I do do home visits with her. She's got a really good family support. She wants to stay home, doesn't want to go into a long care facility. So I just help them to, to stay at home longer. Throughout my whole university career, I think the job that I wanted to do was rurally, right? And, you know, coming back to Sad Lake, knowing that they do need staff to work in the health center knowing that you know we're always struggling rurally to have physicians you know just professionals work here I think that that's always been a draw for me I mean I've lived in Edmonton for like 10 years and then it just is not a fit for me like I don't like the busyness of the life I don't like like crowds <laughs> I don't like all the people but you know there are some good things about like you know the city life that I do like I like that they've got programs and stuff for kids I like that there's so much extracurricular activities for kids right but as for a job like I like the slow pace of the rural life I like to go through Tim Hortons and be the only one in line <laughs> you know those are the things that to me you know, my time is the thing that I value most. And if I can get the most out of my time to be with my family, then that's kind of where I like being. There are a lot of issues on reserve that are different from living in a small town. I mean, on reserve, we have a lot of drug abuse. That being prescription and recreational drug abuse. We've got a lot of um, alcohol abuse. We've got a lot of public health issues like overcrowding of homes, poor access to health services, even that being to come see me in clinic. Um, we've got a lot of financial issues where people just don't have the money to afford certain things like prescription medications or um, traveling to go for lab work or traveling, just traveling in general. Within the community, we have a lot of issues in which road conditions is a big thing, right? You wouldn't think that being that, you know, ideally people would go to the clinic and then, you know, see the doctor and stuff like that. But when it's really rainy outside or it's really cold, the roads get so muddy that, you know, people can't drive in the within the community. So people can't get to the clinic. People miss appointments to specialists because they can't get out of their driveway because the roads are so bad. I mean, it's, it's pretty apparent when the school buses won't drive the kids to school because of the roads are so bad. So I think that those are issues that are specific to rural communities and are specific to reserves that people don't aren't aware of. So I feel like reserves aren't looked at close enough. We're not considered for, you know, physician placements. You don't know what resources we have. You don't know what we're lacking. You don't know you know what's going on here. That's the biggest thing. I mean, if you could just include us in a lot of the things that are going on, ask us what we need, ask us if we want to, you know, be a part of certain things that, you know, majority of stuff, I don't know what's going on. The only time I know when things are happening is because I'm working in St. Paul or else I would be literally blind to everything that was going on. So that would be the biggest thing is sometimes it feels like we're not considered because I think a lot of people have misconceptions about reserves, um, that they're scary places to be at, that we don't have, you know, as, you know, that we're 
not good facilities to be working in because you know some of them are but our facility here is a great example of what things can look like because we've got lab we've got an ultrasound tech that comes here we have a dentist that's here we have a pharmacy we have nurses you know like we've got so much going on here that i think that this facility is a good example of what the way things could be and the reason why we're here is because, you know, we enjoy being here. Uh, we like the community and we like the work that we do.